Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The School Zone. All right, when we last left off, we had discovered the location of Emily and were tasked to find her, rescue her, and then we got sent to the distillery district, and then we also took out some of Dowd's assassins. And now we're back in Slackjaw's gang hideout to uh, get a little side quest from him. So let's pick up where we left off. So there was a couple of books in here we hadn't gotten to, or at least a book and a note. Uh, let's see. Bunting. This art dealer, Bunting, is a man of taste. If anyone left in Dunwall has something worth stealing, it's him. So whoever opens the safe gets double the normal cut. Slackjaw. All right, so that is a clue of something we're going to do in just a little bit. Let's check out looting in recent months. How apropos. Excerpt from a letter found in an empty house at the edge of the Rudshore Financial District. The looting started in the warehouses. Once enough men took sick with the plague, the companies had to suspend operations. My husband Malchus was with the Meyerson Tobacco Leaf Company, which closed last year during the month of clans. He ran the fireboxes. The firebox is the part of a steam engine where the coal gets shoveled into. And the main curing barn which is where the cut tobacco leaves are hung to dry, usually by slow heat. Malchus always said flu curing made the sweetest leaf. A flu is basically an air duct, like your chimney has a flu if you have a fireplace, and flu curing is a method of drying the tobacco without exposing it to too much smoke. Sickness hits the tobacco men the hardest because of all the smoking. They ran a small crew for a while, but around the time my husband got sick, the fires were put out and the tobacco sat rotting. Somehow the thieves knew and started stripping the place. Later they moved on to houses, the bastards. <laughs> okay, so... We're good there. Oh, I didn't even... Ha! <laughs> That's interesting. Let me try that again. You can actually just... run off onto a chain. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Okay. Learn something new every time you play. Don't make me take that away from you. <laughs> Just try it. Slackjaw's thinking someone poisoned the still to ruin the bootleg elixir operation. He would be right. All right. So last time I mentioned uh, that we couldn't get into this area, but now we can, and there's some. Pretty good loot down there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open this and then He's gone. Huh. I thought the weepers would just jump out. Maybe they won't. Okay, now they will. We'll basically just uh, make Slackjaw's men take care of the Weepers. Alright, good job, boys. Now we can go in. Alright, some medicinal herbs. A rewire tool. We already got a bunch of those. A pouch. Copper wire. Since we just took a little damage by accident. Pick that up. All right, some pretty good booty, you could say. And here we have a moray sextant. So a sextant was a navigation device commonly used before GPS. Uh, it uses mirrors to measure the angle between objects, and then the user can do some trigonometry to determine the distance or height. So when sailors would use sextants to figure out where they were in the world, it usually involved star charts and such, so it's not exactly easy, but it was used as far back as the 1700s, so it did know a thing or two back then. Let's keep rolling. I'm going to put a little pop-up what chaffer means. I keep saying, you're a chaffer. I don't know what that means. 
guys are all on alert now. Okay, a few items got added to the, uh, the pile, so to speak. Okay, let's go down and talk to Slackjaw. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so, and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone... I don't know who is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Alright, so he's uh, wanting to do a little quid pro quo, as they say, which means I do something for him and then he does something for me, which uh, we're actually going to take him up on his offer. And uh, he also used the word ilk when he was talking. Ilk basically means a certain kind. Uh, usually they're talking about people in a family. Okay, so I think these are all empty elixir vials. We don't need any more of those, but can grab a few more items from around these guys. Excuse me while I pillage your boss's belongings here. <laughs> oh, it stopped me at the stairs that time. Embarrassing! Okay. We are out of here. Oh, there's weepers. Let's see if they get taken care of. <laughs> Pretty cool. Man, you're practically like a sniper with this, uh, with the gun and the magnification combo. It's awesome. Let's see just how far I can shoot this thing. Man, that's amazing. <laughs> that's like zombie target practice. Come on over here. One more. Let's snipe him from up here. Boom! Ha <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Bullets are a dime a dozen, so I'll be able to find some more in just a moment. Okay, let's head on over to Galvani's place. See if we can find his buddy, or at least what happened to him. Somebody, get over here! That's probably a chaos effect. Man, look at him jumping on the guy. That's crazy. That little mischief of rats. Alright, good job. We went in there last time, so let's go ahead and... 
start working our way up. Okay, so this area has been repopulated by guards, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, a couple of guards down there. This guard over here, probably take him out with a uh, bolt. Voila! And I see a guard there, but let's get a little closer. Until his buddies aren't exactly watching. Alright, so now we can head over here and why don't we get a little creative with the rats. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's see what this wall of light's all about. But let's uh, let's jet over here behind this. How does it work? What? The wall of light. Isn't it a wonder? It's one of Sokolov's latest inventions. They say the idea came from oh, the vision. Look at the poor rats. Yes, but do you know how Pride. it works? I really couldn't. We'll give him a little karma. But all the hairs on your body stand up when you walk through it. Keep your men from tampering with it. Alright, so hopefully this will work. I'm gonna summon the rats. All the guys are gonna come running. <laughs> and the whale oil tanks take them all out. Very nice. Okay, so there is an angry watchtower up there, but we're not going to deal with that right now. We are going to head all the way over here. Rewire this this wall of light. So if anybody else tries to walk through it, they're going to have a bad day. And then we attracted some weepers. So maybe we can grenade them. Nice. <laughs> yep, cooking with grenades. Alright, there's a couple more coming up. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a little trap for them. And pick up some more pouches like that. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This district is now on that whale oil ban. Compliance will be strictly enforced. Distillery district. Okay, we read this book in Slackjaw's place. So let's keep going. Okay, so we got one of them. Yeah, he's on alert, but he didn't quite see us, so we can do that. No rats down here, so let's explore this area a little bit. Okay, so unlike before, this door is open. Just gonna take a peek down here. Yep, okay, so that goes back up to the bridge that crosses over to the Wall of Light, but let's see what's in here. Yeah, I think that's Granny. Come on. Come to dinner now, that's right. Of course it is. Let's see what we got here. Allison's letter. Dear Daniel, I've been given a geologist position with the Horizon Trading Company in Circonos. Soon we'll be taking our first survey just south of Karnaca, or Karnaca. 
don't wait too long to leave, because there are rumors of people being denied passage out of the city. Wait for me in Karnaka. Love, Allison. Okay. Wasn't much to school in that, but let's go see what Granny has to say. Have you seen him? The handsome one with the beautiful dark eyes. I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you, if you see him? My gentleman callers don't come around like they used to. You took care of it for me, didn't you? That's nice. Sure. The outsider. Okay, but I hear a bone charm singing, yes, sir. Let's see what this is all about. Rat scent. Okay, hopefully it's a good one. Rats attack you only when you walk closer. Now that is finally useful. Let's see what we can get rid of. Not breaking too much glass, so let's... Well, wait a minute. Yeah, let's... I'm just not digging that drop assassination, so let's turn that one back on. Turn on rat scent, and now we'll uh, have a little bit of a larger proximity before the rats start attacking us. Okay. And refill that for show. Pardon me. Okay, now we're not going to go this way. This is going to lead to the Golden Cat. So we got a few more things to do before we head in that direction, but um, just wanted to show it to you. Stop fussing with my collar, Mama. The dance is starting soon. Is my hair smooth enough? He's sure to be there. Sound <laughs> a little youthful memory of her prom or something. Okay, so let's head up the street. See if there's any more fuss at the top of this stairwell. Got some stencils. Nothing really there. Ah uh, yes, a little save. No, please, it's for my baby. He needs it. Sounds like a damsel in distress. It's us that needs it. If the city watch gets sick, how are we gonna protect you? Protect me? You grab her, I'll get the elixir. Nope. I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Take it. Oh no. You're gonna bleed. Man, he was just dodging, ducking, and dodging. Alright, so we saved her by the skin of our teeth. Let's go talk to her. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there, probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. Well, that was nice. Let's see if she has anything else to say. I can't thank you enough, stranger. All right. Well, I feel like I did a good deed for today. <laughs> These guys need to be just taken out, man. Taking elixir from a baby. Word. Okay, so before we head up that direction, which uh, is where we want to go, we have a couple of side quests now to take care of. So we now have the option of going into Dr. Galvani's office or heading up into the art dealer's place, which I believe is this building. We have the key to that now. So we are going to do both of those in the next episode. Set up here so we can decide if we want to go left or right first.
All right. Thanks again for thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Just uh, wreck that like button if you're feeling like you're getting some out of this channel and you're enjoying it. Really appreciate the feedback I've been getting. Thanks so much. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next episode.